Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, let's just get this set up. One can hear me. Can you hear me? We let's just give people a bit of time to get on. Um, if you can hear an annoying fan, let me know again, um, and I'll sort it out. It's quite hot again. Um, so Mohammed, um, not rewarding money as such. Like this is a men this is a mentoring session. Like this is a site that I've built. Um, do you know what I mean? It's custom made to look like a real website and function like a real website and have the bugs that I found on other bug bounty programs inside it to teach you how to hack like me, basically. Um, but I am going to be rewarding some swag again to people as I did in the last session. If you attended that, um, I will explain a little bit more about that sh uh, shortly. Let's give people a few minutes to get on. Um, so who's here from the last session? Because this session literally is all about breaking the patches that we found in the last session, if you remember. So we found cross-site scripting um, on the home page. There was no cross-site request forgery protection when updating your information. Um, I've not done anything with the GitHub uh, API leak, nothing like that. Like that's still unpatched working. Um, this is simply filters. So again, it's like hands-on hacking basically. Um, so looking again at the XSS that was on the homepage, seeing what's potentially fixed with that, what's been fixed with the cross cross forgery things. Um, I mean, seeing what's what. Um, and then once we've done that, um, yeah, then I'll go through all the issues because I fixed them the way real developers would fix them. Like this is, I've not like made this up. This isn't, do you know what I mean, hypothetical stuff. These are real bugs that I have found and developers have gone away and fixed them. This is how they fixed them. And do you know what I mean, I was able to bypass them and there's another bug. Um, so I'm going to be trying to basically help you think like a developer, even if you aren't a developer, because developers typically run free checkpoint method in my opinion where everyone does with everything um so i'm going to basically be explaining that um so yeah there's going to be some bypassing html filters in there just while definitely um so if everyone's ready i mean yeah i feel let's get started shall we get straight into it because i know you guys want to hack and i want to watch you guys hack and yeah so before i get started for those of you who are new you're going to need an account on www.bugbaitnotes.com um that's because if you find any issues i'm here triaging going through the issues and i'm going to be help mentoring you and helping you along the way um and so if anyone's got any questions you need any help uh, you can either ask in the youtube chat or my dms are open so feel free to message me on twitter and i'll help you um, but you can, if I mean, if you feel like you've got an issue and you need a bit of help, uh, let me just turn on my DM things. Yeah, they are on. Um, so if you do get stuck with anything, you feel like you've got a potential issue, you can still report that to me as the issue. And do you know what I mean? I'll explain to you and help you. Um, feel free to mention on the report whether you want me, you'd rather me re reply to you privately as such, or if you're happy for me to help the group with the issue, basically. Um, so Michelle, I'm gonna get to that real quickly. <laughs> I'm literally just doing. You know, we just started. I'm just going through um, everything. Um, now I'm just gonna load up the page real quick so we can enable this for people. Um, all right, let's share my screen. Let's get started. Okay, everyone should be here hopefully. <laughs> okay, I need to get my presentation up. Real quickly, um, let me just, two minutes, set this up real quick. I thought I had my Google Docs open for the presentation. <laughs> I do apologize. Um, presentations. Um, so yeah, there's going to be some prizes uh, for people who can, the first person to find the first bug, there's going to be a swag prize for you. Um, the, let me check the bugs. The person, so again, this is, I mean, I'm going to be obviously saying where the bugs have been patched, but you should know this from the last bug. So there was a bug on redirecting and hijacking someone's token, wasn't there? Now that's been fixed. So the first person to bypass that will also get some swag. Um 
And then final, who can give me the best proof of concept? Um, there is, yeah, the best proof of concept. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, let's get straight to it. I've got my presentation now. So you're going to need Burp Suite for this open. There's no automated hacking at all. So again, can we not have any? Uh, yeah, I'm going to show you the link as to where I put. I'm literally just getting it up real quick. Everything on this computer. Uh, I'm just going real slow for some reason. Um, but you, so yeah, if you head over, let me go present. Okay, we're making progress here, guys. <laughs> It was open. I don't know why it closed. All right, share screen. Share. All right, let's get to it. present. So, welcome everyone to you know the next installment of fast food hackings. For those of you who think, oops, I've gone straight to the end. <laughs> My bad. Um, so for those of you who didn't attend the last one, Fast Food Hackens is literally a site set up by me, like I say, with custom bugs on there. Um, it's So you've got full permission to hack it. Um, no automated tools or anything like that. Um, so yeah, live hacking mentoring with me. Uh, we're going to be testing the patches and learning to think like, to, like a developer. Um, notice talk isn't going to be just on XSS, Mustafa. Um, it's about bypassing filters and getting in the developer's head. Because if for those of you who have followed me since day one with mentoring and you've listened to how I hack and what I look for and you know what I mean how I stay sane doing it as such, um, I like to stick to the same programs and learn how developers are thinking because then when they release new patches with whatever type of bug is out there i can get a feel for what's going on basically so i'm trying to teach people how to get into the developer mindset and but do you know what i mean learn how to break things <laughs> consistently rather than just like spraying and praying um so yeah so what is today about like i just said to get an understanding how some of the developers think because like i say you guys broke the first fast food hackings website didn't you and you found some easy xss bugs and people understood what was going on so the developers have fixed it with how they feel like it should be fixed do you know what i mean so these aren't necessarily correct ways to fix it as such uh, but like i say this is how people are actually fixing it um so if you want to use intruder on burp you can use intruder on burp so when i say there's no rate limiting issues to check for such i don't mean go and mass create loads of accounts or try and brute force accounts but if you need to run like a word list um for some payloads as such then yeah that's okay i guess um you don't need to use intruder to do any subdomain scanning or anything like that um, i will get to the rules and the pages as to what's going to be happening here um so we're going to be breaking the patches again on fast food hackings and discovering some new bugs. Because um, like I say, this is, I fixed these bugs, how developers have fixed them for me in the past. And I broke the patch and ended up getting another bounty for it. So that's what I'm trying to teach you guys. Um, so very quickly, basically, to go over what it means, in my opinion, to think like a developer. Um, now, obviously, there's loads of different skill levels of developers out there. Um, but... The first one hasn't appeared for some reason. So first one, we've all seen it before, haven't we, where they're only filtering certain strings. So they you report a payload. Oh, if you saw my other stream about bypassing and understanding filters, I give some examples. Um, if you didn't see that, I highly recommend you check it out. But as I proved, shown in there, developers will only fix bugs by replacing certain strings that you've reported to them. They don't actually understand the actual issue. So if you're looking at the same program consistently and they're not, you see that they're not fixing things consistently, then you can apply that to the entire site and find lots, lots more bugs, really. Um, second, that they blindly trust built-in functions. So uh, the filter validate URL, I've given some example code there. Basically, all that does is that will check that if the string redirect URL, um, if that's a URL and it's using PHP's built-in code, then don't allow it. No URLs allowed. Now, some sites use this if they don't want to redirect to another site, i.e. might leak a token. So that will basically allow it so they can you can only redirect to endpoints, so forward slash LOL. So, but can that be bypassed? You know what I mean? That's built into PayPal, that relative uh, PayPal, what am I on about? Um, PHP. Um, that, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, second of all, 
or third of all, sorry, if else everywhere. So when you report bugs to some companies, um, I'll give you an example for a, a cross origin sharing bug. Um, if they're just checking for if the origin contains their, UR, your, their URL. So if so-and-so equals, then do this. They don't, they just blindly trust, do you know what I mean, the statement and don't do any further checks as such. So that's what I like to take advantage of with bugs, really. <laughs> So I know you guys are eager to hack and I'm eager to watch you guys hack. So very quickly, rate limit is out of scope and anything relating to it. So don't report that you can brute force someone's password. You can mass create accounts and things like that. Um, please only log into the accounts you own. Um, do you know I mean, there's no admin, admin, things like that on this. This is just bypassing filters. Um, nothing like directory listing, anything like that. Again, from the first session, we had XSS on the homepage. But these bugs have been patched. So... When you get the URL very shortly, it's log into your account or make an account and look at what's going on. It's hands-on hacking and understanding what is going on because, um, yeah. So, guys, let's go hack. Um, so if you visit bugbattynotes.com forward slash mentoring forward slash session ID3, uh, if you're on bugbattynotes.com mentoring, then do you know what I mean? It's the same URL, bugbattytraining.com forward slash FFH. Um, that is... The challenge URL is the same one. The bugs have been patched. You know the drill. When you find a bug on that very same page, there is found a bug, create report. You can report it to me there. And I'm on the other end, um, triaging it, basically. So again, we're look, remember, we're looking for the bugs. Go through your submissions from the last session to look at what you found. I mean, cross site, cross forgery, XSS. See how they've been fixed. See what's going on. Um, if anyone has gets any issues with the site, anything's going wrong, just please let me know I'm here. I'm in live to fix this. Um, and again, donations aren't needed. I mean, you don't have to do it, but again, it's really appreciated. Uh, I'll do something free time to help you guys out and get you in the mindset of a hacker. Um, so yeah, it's really appreciating that. Um, I did give a private stream to those who donated last time. Um, that was, that was, I mean, it was only a, a handful of people who donated so i wanted to give them a little extra treat um i'll probably do something like that again or something maybe not going over the same content um i'll work something out depending on what happens i guess but yeah so yeah happy hack uh happy hacking guys really so like i say the the training it's bugbanktraining.com forward slash ffh that's the site we're hacking and these are bugs that i found and have been patched you're literally hacking like me you're learning to hack like zee shawna <laughs> um my dms are open on twitter if you've got any problems and there's always youtube chat as well um so i've already, already got a question on twitter from vigilante so you can see that user equals admin and the token um that's just their session token isn't it yeah understand what's happening how it works <laughs> we will be going through all the bugs again at the end do you know what i mean to help you guys understand where things are <laughs> Uh, let's see if we've got any reports in yet. Ah, we've got one report in already. All right, congratulations, um, CLOX, C -C -L -O -X, however you pronounce your name. Um, you got the first bug. Congratulations. You got some more custom swag coming your way. Yours has been shipped out. Uh, should be with you anytime now, really soon. Congratulations. I will explain at the end as well why things were patched, how they were patched. Because, do you know what I mean? Bug bounties isn't just about reporting the bugs and going away. Um, when they fix them, see what happens. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so to those of you who missed the previous session, can I know what bugs were reported and patched? Yeah, so I'm working. Uh, on updates on bug bounty notes to be able to release the bugs that were found i do apologize they're not out beforehand um but there was xss found on the home page um actually do you know what if, if you visit the other old stream and view towards the end um i go through the website live and show the bugs live so um yeah i check that out it's ha the hands-on hacking video towards the end the last 20 minutes or so you'll find it um there was just xss cross us cross forgery and things like that uh, I haven't mentioned this actually, but 
the if you discover new settings.php, that is a separate challenge and not part of this thing. So don't report the IDOR bug that is on there. That those of you have found it, that's separate. Yeah. <laughs> um, can I get swag if I donate? Um, simply because you asked that, and yeah, why not? Oh, yeah. All right, go ahead. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Why not? Let me write this down. Uh, send me a DM on Twitter if possible as well. Just let me know. Or attach some information if you to the donation notes or something. Um, I have just written your name down. But, yeah. I do appreciate it, really. Um, with that said, I'm actually working on being able to, so everyone can get access to swag. And it's not just, well, I want to basically make it so people can get access, easy access to swag from not only reporting bugs in these sessions and that um but if they want to donate and things like that i've got some really really cool things in the works of bug bounty notes um i really do appreciate everyone that supported me and attends these sessions really because you guys are in my best interest to try i want you guys to learn how to hack like me um i do apologize when i'm rambling to those who are concentrating hacking <laughs> i will be a bit quiet <laughs> Um, and, uh, yeah, maybe I should get some music to play. I don't be quiet. Um, can anybody share a target link? Yeah, I'll share the link. I mean, if you visit that site, it does tell you the rules and the challenge URL the same way. Do you know what I mean a bug bounty policy? But yeah. Um, so McCann, do you still do bug bounties full time or do you have work? No, I don't have work. Um, uh, bug bounty notes and bug bounties. Yeah, it's my, it's my life really. <laughs> Uh, I've got some really cool stuff in the works, though, for Bug Bounty Notes and bringing people together and learn, helping people learn how to hack and that. Um, yeah, let's see if anyone else has got any more reports. We've got four pending bugs. All right, cool. All right, well done, Venom. You found the same bug that um, CelioX found. Congratulations. Um, so RH... OX01. Um, yeah, if, if I, um, you I mean you are correct as such, um, but if, I mean, uh, yeah, if you could, maybe I'm just not understanding as such, but could you give me a proof of concept with that? Um, you are correct as such, but if you, I mean, you just got to pass me a URL for that one. Um, yeah, so Satchin Call, you're correct. That is a bug. I will explain, like I say at the end, why these bugs are how they are, what what's happened, where the developers gone wrong. These aren't all just made up. <laughs> um, see if I've got any more reports coming in. Like I say, any problems? YouTube chat. I'm here to help. Uh, if I have a list of XSS payloads, how can we use XSS validator? So, if you, do you know what I mean, if you've got tools to, um, do you know what I mean, sort of mass test for things, and that's the way you're hacking and that, that's okay to do. Um, you're okay to use those sort of tools. I just mean don't, do you know what I mean, don't send off automated scanners to do all of the hacking for you, and do you know what I mean a burp scan as such. But if you want to use automated tools to send payloads to test something, then that is okay. Try not crash the site. <laughs> um, so Ciliwex has asked a good question. Yes, you are correct. Whatever you find on there, as that is, um, I've only explicitly said new settings is out of scope. Um, obviously, that's for another challenge. The the GitHub leak is still there. I didn't fix any of the API stuff, but if you'll notice, a certain files' contents have changed to remove that. So anything you find in this file, yeah, it's in scope, man, 100%. I'll be interested to see how quickly you can potentially find the bug there if you're listening, silly OX. I'll just reply to you in case you aren't listening. <laughs> see if we've got any more reports. Um, if you like, I say if you guys got any feedback of how I can improve these and make these better, and how I can help mentor you guys better, 
just let me know. All right, we've got lots of reports coming in now. You guys are doing well. All right, cool. All right, Rube has found, I believe, the first. Let me just verify this is working. Yeah, correct. Well done, Rube. You're the first person to find that bug. Congratulations, Neolex. Congratulations, Kira. Ah, oh, someone's going to do that thing with how many times I'm saying congratulations. I'm going to stop saying congratulations. <laughs> um, so, yeah, people fell chase. So it's XSS that we had in the last session. You are correct. That it was the same XSS. Um, I will show you guys how they fixed it or how they thought they fixed it. Okay, Cali. I like the way this is reading. I'm gonna uh, maybe you found the first. Congratulations, Cali. You are the first person to find that bug. Um, congratulations. More swag coming your way. All right, so that's two of the swag gone, guys. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Um, so Callie's found a way to hijack people's accounts again. Um, certain functions don't work how they should work, basically. Um, can I check my Twitter D DM? Yeah, sure. Yeah, so Mustafa, um, again, logging into admin admin isn't a bug. Um, it says here in the rules, um, only log into the account you own and that no admin admin stuff is valid. Like that's not the bug. Um, fell chase. Yeah. Your report is valid. You are correct. I'm going to explain why the developer messed up again, really at the end, but yeah, you are correct. <laughs> Okay, yeah. So, um, okay, that's that's my bad. Um, there's uh, actually no, it's correct. No, yeah, you are correct. So I'm getting ahead of myself. Although this, um... so R H O X O one. Um, are you sure that's not self XSS there? Um, because there is a token on that. Uh, if you can create some sort of proof of concept, I mean, you might potentially be correct. Um, no, you're not too late, Simo. Uh, I'm a beginner. I don't know what to do. So if you're a beginner, I highly recommend. Well, I mean, how much of a beginner are you? Uh, do you know how to use Burp Suite, etc.? cetera? Um, so I'll go check that out and learn how to use that. Uh, I'm going to load up the site myself. Let's see how you guys are getting on. do appreciate everyone taking their Sundays to hack with me. Um, we may have to redo the days we stream because um, I believe Ben seem, is going ahead with every Sunday now. So we may have to pick another day. I did pick Sunday because I guess, you know what I mean, in the, in the week, people are busy with their work. Um, and Saturday, people are relaxing as such. Um but I don't know. We'll sort something out. Oh, I've actually made an error myself on one of the bugs. So on settings.php, um, somebody's just reported the stored cross-site scripting. Uh, I've actually just made a mistake. I'm very quickly going to fix that because it's still pointing to the test environment and it shouldn't be. Okay, sorted. <laughs> My bad. So yeah, um, R H O X. You are correct that there's XSS there, but it's self XSS at the moment, isn't it? With the way you've reported it. Um, yeah, I need to make sure I don't do that in future. Have it to the test environment. <laughs> My bad, guys. Um. 
so Mustafa, you're able to re reproduce the same XSS. Um, what do you mean? Yeah, are you meaning in the account name? Um, so remember this. Remember with self XSS, companies are going to want to see some sort of proof of concept. Um, can you get that in anyone else's account somehow? Be something. Remember the cross site cross forgery bug was fixed. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna see see if anyone else has got any more reports. All right, we've got three more reports. Uh, so Simo, um, being able to access anyone's user profile is intended functionality. Um, some people found this last time. That's how it works. The same way you view a public Twitter profile. That's just I mean, it's a public profile. So yeah, Mustafa. I mean, there is XSS there, but I mean, if you, I mean, I don't want to give hints away as such, but if you try set that in anyone's account as such, does it work? Do you know what I mean? That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> because even if you find a self XSS, don't always think, oh, I'm just going to move on from it. Think about your attack. Um, angles uh so rorschach where can i send the report um if you see on the on the screen uh bugbynotes.com for slash mentoring id three of the session there is a button on there saying found a bug create a report you report it all on the same place that the scope is listed so if you just simply leave that page open in a new tab and always use that because it removes the field and makes it blank so you can just easy add new things Uh, so Venom, you are correct. However, again, that's self XSS, isn't it? Um, yeah. How can you can you if, if, can you in, uh, interact with anyone else with that? <laughs> again, these are bypasses. You're thinking of bypasses and protection that's in place and how a developer's gone about validating certain things. Think about what I mentioned at the beginning with if-else st statements. So if you see a certain payload as such, um, they might be just checking if it's that. Uh, obviously, I don't want to give away hints for those of you who don't like the hints, but yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you guys how many bugs there are in total real quick. So... We have, let me count. There's nine bugs. Nine bugs in total. There is a cause misconfiguration. So cross origin resource, there is one of those bugs. There is a cross site across forgery bug. There is a DOM based XSS. There's just simple XSS and you looking around. Because remember, there are some some potential new bugs. Obviously, you'll find that if you in certain files. It's really hard to not give away hints. <laughs> Let's see how many more reports we've got. Let's see if we've got any Twitter DMs. Okay. Uh, I've got a message request. So, Lauritz Home, yes, that is intended. Um, think about where you might actually find where that endpoint is. Think about where that endpoint might be exposed. Because sometimes when you're hacking, this is to teach people when you're hacking, sometimes a site doesn't work as intended. Some links, we, we've all seen that, haven't we? And we've been hacking. You click things and it just doesn't work the site's broken but that this is to teach you that go around and just have a little look i don't know if you can hear me lauritz but i did also yeah the correct screen is um do you know what i mean there's not a lot i am gonna 
I guess in a few minutes have a little look at the site myself but that's just to help people with where they need to go and if they're just joining this is what we're doing this is the, what the the day's about this is for you guys to hack and learn and learn how things are going I mean learn how to hack and think like a developer I've got like four or five other streams of these think like a developer um, breaking bypasses filters and that after I, I'm going to be sharing my screen and going through these bugs, and we'll be, I'll be hacking. This is just for you guys to. Do you know what I mean? Because I like. Uh, I know I ramble, <laughs> um, but I like people to not only read about bugs, but to get that euphoric feeling of oh my god, I found a bug. And these are the exact bugs I found, guys, on bug bounty programs. And someone even tweeted me recently saying, um, "I found a bug thanks to you, Sean." And that so. These are bugs I found. These aren't made up. Silly things. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to check reports. Uh, so there's no duplicates as such. Like, do you know what I mean? It's it's not about that. It's to help you, isn't it? Um, so, Cali. Yeah, you are correct, Cali. That's just carrying on, I guess, from your other um, open bug. Yeah. Okay, somebody has found... The bug I wanted him to find. Correct. So, Saru. Saru, I don't know how to pronounce the last part of your name. I do um, apologize. But, yeah, you are correct. So, you found the bypass that and the mitigation, you are 100% correct as well. Um, I will go through that for those of you who are like, oh, my God. But, yeah, you are correct. Well done. Um, okay, so Satchin Cool. Um, there is no blind XSS on this, so think about where that might be reflected. Satchin, think, do I mean, have a little, have, what do I always say to, do you mean, you want to easy to potentially find out what a site has got on it, what files, what files to always visit? Have a little look there. Um, Correct. Uh, yeah, so there is still that bug with registering out a password. Um, I didn't fix any of that stuff, but yeah, I accept that bug. Yeah, it still works. Um, so RHOXO1. Um, Okay, I'm going to actually test that because that might be an unintended bug there. <laughs> Let me just real test that. I'm literally going to use your repo steps for this as well. So, because I don't know if. Let me have a look. So, uh, I'm not quite sure that's a, let me just check something, sorry. Okay, yeah, so I just tried to change. So RX01, I just tried your repo steps and tried to change admin's username, as you were saying. Um, it didn't work. I got more reports coming in. I got questions. Um, just while I'm getting to it, two minutes. So, Sir Puna Lot. Um, I mean, you are correct with there being a token there, but um, I feel like you've just given me potentially an automated report there with how that's written, because think about how you could potentially steal that token. That's the idea. Um, so 
Akash Anash. Ah, oh, sorry, Jaswal, that's your name. Yeah, just yeah, that's correct. You are correct. That is the bypass. Uh, so GD attacker again. That is self XSS. So guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about something for those of you. Uh, if for those of you are finding self XSS in settings.php, you you're correct that there's XSS there, but it only affects you. Now you can forgery login, but as an attacker, think about how you can get that in there without on someone else's account without having to log into their account. Do you know what I mean? Because then, do you know what I mean? That leads on to how they fix this bug. And it, I'm just, yeah, you are correct that there's self XSS there, though. Um, but if you reported that to a company, they would turn around and probably say, well, it's self XSS. What's going on? Think about if you can get that in someone else's account. That's what I'm trying to help you guys get. Um, directory listing is not in scope. So rate limiting and that, that's scope. Only log into the account you own. This is about bypassing filters and le I mean, hands-on hacking and that. I know you can view the image directory and things like that. Doesn't bother me. <laughs> All right, we've got a lot more reports coming in. Wow, okay. People are obviously listening hard. <laughs> um, okay, so Rishab, yeah, you are correct. I like the value in the TID there. <laughs> Okay, people are reporting. Oh, okay, I get why there's the self XSS in the name. Um, yeah, I get it now. Because, um, yeah. Although that again is my bad because I actually fixed that <laughs> from the other one that goes on with the idol. I need to actually, yeah. Um, so yeah, if you find, sorry, I do apologize for this, guys. I'm gonna obviously accept these bugs um but xss in the name is correct but it reflecting on your public profile unintended my my bad with that i'm literally now going to fix that but i want you guys to focus on trying to get that in somebody's settings.php that is where the bug is um yeah <laughs> really my bad on that i'm new to all the old stream and mention i guess um so let me just make sure that's been fixed so people don't get confused there. Yeah. I'm going to accept those bugs because you are correct. I do apologize for that. But, yeah, again, I want you guys to focus on getting XSS in settings.php. Can you get that in someone else's? So Hcracker, again, that's self-XSS. Um, can you get that to interact with anyone else. So yeah, let me just set these. So Moz, no directory listing bugs accepted, I'm afraid. Yeah, I do apologize there, RH, that was unintended from me real bad yeah there's xss on that page and um, try not to ruin it for people by doing that um but th think about how i mean you may have reported already i'm now checking but think about how you can get that for other people i mean you use a certain endpoint somebody's already reported the bug but yeah Um, so Cali, with I mean Cali, you are correct. However, um, can you create a proof of concept? Because there is cross site request forgery protection on that endpoint. Certain endpoints don't have a cross site request forgery token, but they do have cross site request forgery protection. Um, but everyone's doing well. Um, uh, 
maybe I should do a stream on creating really cool proof of concepts for people as well. That could be interesting. <laughs> We literally do a stream all on how to build a proof of concept because I, I, I mean, I understand maybe Cali might not, but well, you might get how to build a proof of concept on that. Um, yeah, you are correct, Akash. Yeah, so Jarfish. Um, yeah, people are getting XSS on myorders.php. Now, what I want you guys to think about is, could you get that into someone else's from Cross Request Forgery? That's the aim of that part, if I'm honest. Um, you report the bug on that URL, Toxic Hacker. So bugbattynotes.com forward slash mentoring session. There's a button there saying, found a bug, create a report. Um, so there is stored XSS on myorders.php. However, it's just self XSS, isn't it? Think about, can you get that into anyone else's account? Think about what the developer has done to protect any potential cross request forgery protection there. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let me just check if I've got any Twitter DMs. Okay, I got some Twitter messages. Yeah, people are saying XSS on my orders again. See if you can get that. Uh, Sivan, Sivan Ash, you sent an XSS on my orders. I believe I am go I am talking about people's um, orders on like bugs on here. Um, I mean, I can. Yeah, I guess I need to talk about more on the actual things. Um, let's check. I see, I see how many more reports there are. I do apologize if when I go silent, I mean, um, triage people's reports and that, and you guys are busy hacking. I've got no questions. Let me just see if I've not missed any questions. Check Twitter DM. Yeah, so Toxic Hacker. Um, report the bug on via Bug Bounty Notes. And you don't need to be worried about anyone else reporting it before you. This is a mentoring session, not hacking a live website. There are no dupes in this. This is for you guys to learn how to hack. This isn't a race. Um, like I say, I want to bring swag to everyone. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to go through reports. Correct, Kyra. Kira, how do you pronounce your name? Sorry. Uh, Magneto, again, self XSS. Hello, can you check for report? Yeah, I'll have a little look for you. Uh, two minutes. Okay, I got lots of reports coming in. <laughs> nice. Okay, yes, Kira, I accepted your bug, yeah. So I was going through, like, uh, tech guy, uh, sorry, you're Kira, and you, um, I'm afraid someone reported that bug before you, uh, I believe it was Cali, yeah, it was Cali. Uh, I'm afraid they got to you before you. The, the last, but the last piece of swag available is for best proof of concept which I'll decide at the end. I mean, after everyone's done hacking. 
So, yeah, feel free to make a cool proof of concept for a bug. I mean, you don't have to go crazy, but... Uh, we've got no messages on Twitter and no messages on here. You guys are busy hacking. I like it. Good, good, good. Uh, I've got some more reports from D Hacker Lanada. Um, so, yeah, there is cross heart crest forgery login there's no protection on that i mean you are correct yeah um think about any other way you can do it from the actual request think about can you make a booking on someone else's behalf when they visit your website so they visit your website and you want that booking request to fire off and go and store in there my orders so then when they next visit my orders your xss executes doesn't it that's what i'm looking for but i'm gonna accept that because you are correct uh, that's cool proof concept uh, okay, Moz may have found the bug I'm intended to find. You are correct, Moz. Well done. That's a nice proof of concept there. And you are the first person to find that as well. Correct. Well done. You guys having fun enjoying this? Um, hopefully, I've not made it too hard for you. Um, trying to help you guys become hackers. Because that's fun, isn't it? I guess hacking. <laughs> Like I say, anyone who donates to me, I do really appreciate it. it helps me keep doing these and that. Um, so I spend time building these sites for you guys and that. It's not needed, of course. I understand people's circumstances and that. With that said, just randomly, I get a lot of you guys are hacking. Um, but would you guys... I did mention it on one of my streams, but I'm potentially working on a live event to come hack. I mean, come meet me in person and we have people and we hack together alongside with learning and that. Um, trying to get a company involved as well to let us hack on their stuff while learning, basically. Um, uh, so, yeah, if you want to donate, if you visit the bugbattynotes.com mentoring session, there is thank mentor on there. Um, you can just click that and it links to either my Bitcoin, Ethereum or PayPal. Any of it's appreciated. Um, I, I'm i going to work on doing... A, a lot of people wanted me to do more private mentoring and things like that. Um, so in basically in that stream, I literally went through my methodology. So the way you guys are hacking now... Um, I basically did that myself and talked about how I hacked and things I look for and you know I mean how I do bug bounties full time really. Or we'll try. <laughs> um but yeah, I'm working on some stuff. Um, so if you go, if you want to donate, you can just jump in. I'll load it up on my screen now so people can see. Again, it's not, I mean, it's not 100. You don't have to do it. <laughs> just appreciate it. Helps me keep doing these. So, yeah, you just simply click thank mentor. Yeah, it's just there. Um, see if we've got any more reports in okay we've got lots more reports guys nice um ha hacker cracker logging into admin admin is not allowed like that's not the bug logging in you should only log into your own accounts please
I will be going through all these bugs at the end. Don't worry, guys. Uh, Moz. Uh, no, nah, sorry. Wrong report. So, pro a viral. You are correct. However, could you please pro like give me a proof of concept? I'd really like to see a proof of concept. Um, so, a lot of you are reporting that the admin will check that your booking request. Um, no, no admin will check your booking request. Don't worry. If when if I create a blind XSS challenge, I'll make sure that your blind XSS payload gets executed. So you know, trust me. There is no blind XSS on this. No admin checks. You can check your own orders, Saru. So I'm just going to go through a lot of these reports and write why they're correct and that and not. Correct. Somebody sent me a test. Uh, yeah, so the API stuff is still available. That's not been patched at all. Nothing like that. That's from the last session. Uh, I will be releasing them like i mean from the last session we had lots of really cool reports i am going to um disclose them and show people things and that but yeah none of this i mean you can if you really want to poke at these do it be my guest i don't mind the bug is still there of how to get the api key feel free if you want to report it um i might have shut it off to report it from the last session i'll check in a minute Um, so Killan Collins, where can we find a full list of pages in scope? That is your job as the hacker, isn't it? <laughs> so, I mean, this is, I'm teaching people, I mean, I've done lots of mentoring sessions. I'm teaching people how to hack. And I'm giving you a playground to, do you know I mean, get a feel for hacking. Cause that's how I learn how to hack. And the idea behind these is to teach you how to, I learn how to hack really learn how to hack like me. Um, so I mean, you're. I mean, if I simply visit, I mean, how many people have checked robots.txt and seen what's new there? Um, when will I share the public sessions of this public report to this session? Um, so I've been working silently on some features on bug bounty notes. I did intend on getting them ready for today, but I didn't get a chance to finish it off. But I want to be able to allow people to disclose their reports that they've been finding to help other people. Um, and I want a list of winners as well and things like that. So um no there's no swag for duplicate bugs as such the only yeah i'm afraid not <laughs> um so yeah a few you're saying you've done it that's good uh if as well um i mean i appreciate it, guys hacking if you guys do have enough and you're really going out your head and you know I mean, you want me to help you then you know I mean, by all means let me know um, Vigilante, can I create two accounts and get a token from the first one and use in another? So they're both your accounts, though. Think about can, the idea of hacking is you want to interact with someone else's account. Do you know what I mean? You want to be able to report to this company like, hey, I can hack anyone's account if they visit a certain URL. And yeah. So I think interacting with your own account, I mean, it's not going to be in scope, is it? Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's see if we've got any more reports. Let me just see if I've not missed any questions. Um, which bug is missing? Any hint? Um, so all the swag bugs have been found. So it was the first, first, per, first person to find the first bug and the first person to find the account takeover bug. Um, there is... So I, I'll give somebody swag if they can find the first... 
uh, cause bug. So, do you know what I mean? Cross origin resource sharing. So, being able to retrieve data from your website. There's swag available for that. Okay. First person to find that. There's still DOM XSS uh, that no one's found. Um, remember, the idea of this challenges and mentoring sessions is to get you guys to. Because remember, I, I always, I know I repeat myself. But when I'm hacking, I like to hack the same sites and learn the same sites. You guys should be learning me and learning fast food hackings. And you'd know, check, check source, see if there's any JavaScript files anywhere. Remember the tools that I've released for checking for input um, names and certain things like that. <laughs> uh, somebody said they found the DOM XSS. Let's have a look at the reports and see if you are correct. Uh, if you've got any XSS auditor protections and that, just report. You, I mean, use Firefox. Uh, if Chrome's blocking it, don't worry. Just report it. Um, so I'm just replying to some reports. A lot of you are reporting X self XSS in my order still. <laughs> Nice Sudi, nice proof of concept as well. Nice proof of concept, Neolex. Congratulations. Uh, so, velocity um, inspect element is not. A bug that is an intended browser feature, isn't it? To right click and inspect element and change it. Um, that's not a bug. You are correct, Felchase. So, some of you have found the open URL redirect bypass. Remember the code that I showed you? PHP is just checking if it's a URL. But code executes different to how browsers handle certain things, if you remember. So that PHP code there worked. I mean, it works. It checks if it's a, a URL. And if it is, then don't allow it. Now, there was no further checks done. Yeah, I'm not going to give it away. <laughs> okay, so Yashis. Yash, how do you pronounce your name? I'm going to try your proof of concept because I wonder if that request will get blocked. I'm going to try it now. Interesting, that didn't get blocked. I I generally thought a browser would block that request request do you know what i mean i mean if you, in fact that's interesting um i've got too many tabs open so yeah yes you are correct I'm still here, guys. I do apologize. I'm just typing. Um, so somebody's reported a bug actually on Bug Bounty Notes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, that isn't intended i mean let me test if that actually works um i'm pretty sure i added protection on there maybe i didn't uh, i'll get to that after this i'm just going through some reports uh cross-site cross forge on sentence.php yeah that's the bug 
Do you know what I mean? Just see, see if you can get the XSS in someone else's account. Um, Stock Ricks, I do really appreciate the donation. Thank you very much. Have a few drinks after this, maybe. <laughs> um, like I say, guys, everyone has enough hacking, then we can. I can go through. Oh, I've actually not updated um, the Bug Bounty Notes page to add the link for viewing this session, have I? I need to be better, more organised, don't I? <laughs> um, anyone has any questions? DM is open. See if I've not missed any. Um, Daniela, did you get the report on action? Let me check. Um, yeah, so Rajabha, don't worry about dupes and things like that. This is your chance to hack, isn't it? Um, you know what I mean? Learn how to hack. So don't worry about dupes or anything like that. Um. Just check if we've got any tips for the cross origin bug. Um, yeah, okay. Think about where you might be able to view someone's information. Well, it's not private information as such, but think about what endpoints might ha have certain things. So when you're testing for cross origin bugs, you just simply test the header origin with an origin and see if it's reflected back in the response, don't you? And yeah, work from there. <laughs> So again, people keep reporting self XSS on my orders, um, guys. Self XSS isn't um, a bug. I mean, guys, think about when you're hacking. Yeah, um, a company wants to know how you can interact with their stuff and do I mean do stuff that you shouldn't be able to do um with self xss it only typically affects you doesn't it um unless you can get it to interact with someone else which is what the intention is here okay dorka devil has found the first type of that bug congratulations Well done. Supplying some messages on here. Um, okay, so you can't find anything. Dorka Devil isn't a noob. Interesting. <laughs> um, if you can't find anything, just simply homepage. Have a look what's on there.
Uh, Mustafa, so you're telling me, let me check this for you. No, um, the bug is there. So with a cross origin bugs, typically a get request. I mean, it's. Um, yeah, anyway, I mean, sure I've got no more questions, no reports, juggling three things here. I do apologize when I go quiet. <laughs> sure, I might have to hire some people to triage things and that. I can understand now why potentially companies <laughs> have help. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> well, that's how you guys. Um, yeah, you can, it's not a contest anyone can participate this is for you guys to learn how to hack yeah there is cause around there potentially i don't want to give it away um i'll say if you guys when you guys have enough just let me know and i'll go through things but this is your testing ground you can't be wrong with hacking you know what i mean and the site's going to be live for a while for you to keep practicing okay fell chase is Okay, so you are correct. However, it's not going to be a post request for the, the I mean, pause request. Uh, cross origin literally gives you access to be able to retrieve the response of the HTML. So you change your post to a get. You wouldn't even have any of the action save. You wouldn't even need any post data. You just simply have a get the origin from there. Go check some more reports. Yeah, so Moz, um, get in XSS in my orders. Think about how how you can do it rather than having them like you are correct with cross site request forgery logging in that. Um, but think about any cross site request forgery ways to get that bug in there. Correct. Yeah, you can report another issue if you want to chain it. Feel free. This is your testing ground, guys. 100%. 100%. Hopefully, none of you are struggling too much. And you're getting it. The reports have slowed up a little bit. Uh, not too many people have reported the XSS on the home page. Like you found it in one of the parameters. Some of you haven't. Uh, so the sapper, are you listening live right now? Uh, I got your DM. If you're listening live, then I'll go through it. So, Mustafa. I mean, you don't need the action show or nothing, but yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, I'm going to 
I'll show you. I'll make a proof of concept real quick. So, because with credentials basically means that it's going to send the cookies along. So if you have a cross origin bug, but there's no um, allow, do you mean you can't send the cookies along with it? Basically, so it's one thing to note. Um, you don't necessarily, I guess, for the cross origin bug, have to create a real proof of concept because you, know, you don't have to buy a domain. <laughs> if you can just prove how you would do it as such, then yeah. There is an open URL redirect in the OLEX may have been fixed somehow with this code doesn't allow you to redirect to another url so seems the reports have slowed down a bit guys people who want some more hints um so, all right, no one has found reflective XSS on yourprofile.php. There is a brand new reflective XSS on yourprofile.php. Can you find it? No one's found it yet. Well, unless I'm going to refresh the reports and see it in there. Um. So I'm going to visit it on my computer, yourprofile.php. I don't know what that was. <laughs> that was a bit weird. <laughs> I have no idea what just came up there. Um, literally, has just set me off guard. What was I? Ah, oh, the XSS, your profile. So, think about what may be new around here at the bottom. Let's see if I've got any more messages. No. Guys are busy hacking. This is why I'd like to do a live event in person. So when you guys are busy hacking, we're not just, I mean, across the world over a computer screen. Um, be nice to be all together, wouldn't it? Uh, I mean, Dorka Devil, I guess. Something else you could probably do on that end point, though. Probably going to be a very, bit low impact. So there's no relative path override as such. 
I might read something from the path. See if got any more reports. So I apologize for science going through reports and that. Not loading. Uh, what's not loading? Let me lead this back, leave this up. Let me just make sure things are working. They should be working still. Um, I know how to bypass the filter for open redirect, but it doesn't trigger the redirect when the user log in himself. Um, send me what you've got. Um, I'll test it. So, Cali, did you check your report? Like, can you have that interact with anyone else? Everyone getting on all right? Anyone need any help? Anyone stuck? Anyone troubled? So, again, guys, directory listing not in scope for this. Uh, I got XSS on settings.php. Um, if you guys are getting stuck, I can go through things. I don't mind. If people are getting stuck and want some help, I mean, shall I talk about a few bugs and give you guys? Let's do it. Let's, I won't go through them all, obviously. People still hacking. So, obviously, the first few bugs we had last time were on the home page, weren't they? um if you remember tracking id and sim id so if we simply tried what was it It was tid wasn't it so if we try tid and cmid see if we can still control these parameters which we can now this was the key to these bugs here so if we try the usual lol try break out of it try lol that um, and the simid, simid, simid one. Now we can see the the sim simid worked. Um, the re the way that was patched was it just used HTML entities. Now for those of you who just chuck payloads at it and it's like, oh, I want to see what happens. Let's protect it. Do you know what I mean? 
a potential automated scanner that isn't set up properly or just chucking payloads you wouldn't get that it's just using what's what's called php html entities which does not um encode certain characters like the single apostrophe so it's using html entities for that one now the second one we can see it's actually not encoded our um, quote mark but it's actually removed it so they're re filtering by replacing so okay we can't i mean it, there's no way to break out of that is there if they're literally replacing the quote mark there's nothing else we can do to, to, to have like javascript there as such we need to end the script tag as somehow um i guess we could i mean if we tried two backslashes we're still not going to break out of the last quote are we that last quote is always gonna fill in for the parameter so let's just try a script I mean, you can see it, they've got rid of that as well. So the developer who fixed this, well, I, I, my next test again is always, what are they filtering? So if I tried H2XSS, I can see it's actually still there. So I know they haven't protected against XSS properly. So let's see how they filter script X and then we'll just try SVG on load. We scroll down and there we have it. They were obviously looking for just forward slash script. Um, you add the forward slash X on there. There was different ways to do this. Some people come up with some creative ways. You could have had caps lock S, some script and that. So the way this was fixed is the developer was just looking for certain strings. So it's just looking for that and that and getting rid of everything else. So everyone understand both of those? So they fixed one of them by just saying, oh, well, HTML entities is going to fix everything because, well, it has. But they messed up by actually, instead of putting it in quote marks, they put it in single quote marks, which introduced the bug. Yeah. So everyone get that. And people who didn't get that get it now as such. Um, we'll have a little pause. I'm going to go through reports. Any questions and that? Um, because people are still hacking, I appreciate that. Um, so you know, you can't use Unicode, nothing like that. I mean, well, shall we try? I mean, let's try something. I don't have my sites on here. Uh, let me just grab up my other computer. I mean, what have uh, you got any payload you want to try? Let's try the ghetto bypass one. What is it? D3A, then ghetto bypass. Um, yeah, there's a ton of interesting links there. So let's see if it does fix against some sort of Unicode. And let's try this one see what it does because it's a very good question so it was a sim id i mean this is where i mean the beauty of hacking and testing things well i didn't even do anything with that one it didn't like it <laughs> um but this is the beauty of hacking because you're just testing aren't you and seeing what what is going on yeah um yeah so bypassing html entities is just simply using Actually, wait, an actual proper bypass, potentially? Hmm. I'd be interested to see that. Um, so where did you get that TID parameter? So, Mustafa, did you attend the first stream? Um, because if you meant if you was here on the first stream, remember this is carrying on from Fast Food Hackens. I highly recommend you check out the first one if you didn't check it out. But that was teaching people that even if you see a variable called a certain thing like tracking ID, developers will call them different things. So like TID or I mean for TID. Um, that yeah, that's what I explained through that. I'm obviously not going to go all through that because we spent a long time on that. I highly recommend you go check it out. Um, yeah. I did mention at the beginning, I believe, that people need to check the first one out. So, uh, is everyone happy for me to carry on? Do people, are people understood, people up to date? Uh, yeah, Mustafa, I'm oh, sorry about that. This was carrying on from the first session um, with everything. So, like, parameter name stayed the same. 
I've got like I said, I've got some cool updates coming from Bugbatty Notes where I'm going to be disclosing the report that people have found and making sure everything's live. So people, if you people want to go from the very beginning to find the very first bugs to then go and test against the patches to practice, and that's going to be available for people to help you do. Uh, that's what I'm working on. That's what I'm going to be working on after stream, probably. <laughs> um, check the report. I if anyone sent any reports, let me know. I understand maybe some people are struggling a bit with this. This maybe might be a bit too technical for some people. Maybe um, being a bit out of people out there debt for such. Um. So yeah, you are correct on that one. Um. So yeah, okay. I'll carry on if everyone's happy for me to carry on. I presume so. <laughs> so we're logged into our account. Now, the second bug that we had was on the settings.php, wasn't it? And if you remember on the first challenge, we weren't allowed to update our information. But we've allowed you to this time. You're allowed to update your information. So if I open Firefox and open um, Burp. Ah, uh, why is the free edition always at the bottom? I don't... Uh, on that. Alright, we're just installing some updates on Firefox apparently. <laughs> I'm not gonna go it's use Burp on Chrome again and crash the stream like I did last time. Um I didn't mean to do that. Come on, Firefox. There we go. So, where is Burp? Uh, we'll just use this because it's opened. I need you to use repeater quickly. That's still 1.7. That's old now, isn't it? I even, I never use my laptop. All right, sorry about that, guys. All right, set this up real quick. Turn off intercept. Okay, let's log into my account. So we were testing the cross Quest 4G and the cores, wasn't we? So it was settings. Set up burp real quick. Job done, let's go. So, let's just make sure that's working. Yeah, it's coming up, cool. So, as you can tell, so we press save. Now, a lot of you found that you could enter XSS here and it would save it and reflect it back. I didn't like that one. <laughs> so, with that said, Okay, I get why people were struggling with that bug. I believe no. Um, hopefully, I've not messed this up. <laughs> no, actually, no. What am I on about? No. So you send this request, and you get this. People found this invalid referrer not in the whitelist. Now, what happens if you move the referrer altogether? It allows it through. How do you do that? Just change the request to a get, and it changes it. I believe. Where is it? Um, yeah, there we go. XSS. Now, people had multiple ways of doing this. So you still could have had it in a form request um, by then just adding the meter header to have no referrer. There were multiple ways to do this. But what the developers messed up on this one was, was they was just checking for the referrer. If the referrer field was found in fact i'm going to get the code up to show you guys this so maybe you can get um more of an idea um yeah if you've been <laughs> are you serious you've been testing on the bug bounty notes 
that wasn't the scope to test bug bounty notes like i didn't give you permission to do that that's not the idea of the stream um please people listen to what the stream is about and what we in, what i'm intending to do here this wasn't about hacking my site um it says explicitly on the page what you're doing do you know what i mean and when you visit this website um it tells you the rules and what the challenge goal is and what the challenge url is um yeah i'll check those server logs later i hope i mean if you found the issues let me know um, but yeah try not to do that again please <laughs> and this is guys no offense but this is kind of why we can't have live mentoring sessions with big companies involved like for actual proper live hacking in my opinion because i don't know what people are up to and what they're doing and i don't want to be responsible for people breaking things <laughs> So yeah, uh, carrying on guys. So yeah, like I say, the, the way the developers were fixing this is they were simply saying, well, the uh, when you send a form request, the refer is typically leaked, isn't it? It's That's how the internet works, browsers work, et cetera. It tells you where the form request has come from. Now, like I say, you can set the meta tag to remove that, or in this case, I simply changed it to a get request and they still executed it and allowed it through. Now, this was to get you to think, I mean, the developer's thinking, if referrer is found, then execute this code. But if no referrer is found, then no execution is made, is it? So therefore, there's no protection. Um, so that's what I'm trying to get you guys to get into the mindset of. So yeah, well done to everyone that received though that one. The second bug, well, the second bug, but this one I need to log out. um so this was the if you remember there was a log there's an open url redirect on this one wasn't there so what was it it was our url and the bug before was if you entered any site in the url it would redirect to google um with their token and then you could log in as them could you on set token um so if i try and replicate this now why hasn't it <laughs> given me uh, I've done it on Chrome that's why um, I can't actually remember don't we have to set it in here somewhere yeah that was it so it was uh, URL1 and then wasn't it just URL yeah so there we go you can see you got Google in there so basically after it logs in from here it should go to Google, and that was the bug, wasn't it, if you remember? So if I log in here now to my account. Sorry, no URLs allowed. Now, if you remember, this is actual PHP code that developers use, because I don't want anyone. Think about how a developer has thought about fixing this, right? You guys reported a bug to them, well, me that allowed you to steal someone's token by redirecting to another url didn't it now if the developer doesn't truly understand that bug then they are simply going to say well i don't want it to go to another url so if i simply check if this parameter here is a url and if it is don't allow it then i should be secure shouldn't i is, do you know what i mean but browsers work different so that to php filter validate url isn't a url but to browsers that will redirect um you could have used encoding as well um a double encoding that was my intended solution so it would have been http google um just go on to so if i simply double encode this url here because when browsers redirect, it's going to decode one of them. Oops. Wrong URL. Hopefully you guys are following me. I'm going to check the chat in a minute. I'm um, just doing some hacking, as you can see. So now this should redirect to Google with my tokens and bypass it. Um, no, it didn't. Oh, okay, I know what I've done wrong.
been a bit of an idiot. Okay, I've got the... So, I'm getting confused with myself here. <laughs> um, I've got the Domino Solution in front of me, and I'm like, hang on a second. But, yeah, people found there's lots of different payloads you can use here. So, browsers would... Um, let's, let's just use this one for argument's sake. Instead of getting complicated, like I say, lots of different ways could have, people could have done it, but it was checking if it was URL. So the idea behind this one was to make Pete, do you know I mean, make the script not think it's a URL because that's what it's checking for. So. And there we go. Google with my token. Yeah. Like I say, you could have used a double encoding as well there and things like that. Um, there was a few interesting ways to get around that. So did anyone get that at all? Um, anyone confused? So if I show you this code here, if you remember. Um, so you see this code here, guys? If filter, sorry, filter variable redirect is filter validate URL. So if you look up filter validate URL PHP, the idea is it's meant to validate if it is a valid URL, isn't it? Because I think about it, the developer doesn't want you to redirect to another URL. They just want it to redirect to an endpoint. Um, an endpoint is just, I mean, test, hello. Because they don't want it to go to another URL. But PHP's code does not see that as a URL, but browsers do, and it redirects and we've stole the token. Um, I'm just going to test something real quick on my other computer. Yeah, so I do have a bypass with double encoding. Um, I need to send it over to my computer somehow. Oh, I can add speaker notes. There we go. I might have to reopen this. So there is a bypass with double encoding as well. Uh, why is it not loading up in my speaker notes at the bottom here? There it is. So yeah, if you see here. Um, double encoding and that. So if I actually try this now, it should redirect to Google with my token as intended. So, yeah. And there you go. See what I mean? Double encoding with that. So you still could have used the HTTPS if you needed to, but based on how browsers actually handle encoding and double encodings and things like that, yeah, redirects. There's clearly URL there. How PHP's code does not know that. But again, encoding and that. If I simply just decode this. Yeah. You can see there. Remember this? Okay, so yeah, browsers... If you visit that URL, you can see there the browser redirects to Google with backslash forward slash. So if you if you were to do this naturally, so if you guys are probably th sat there like, why are you double encoding? If you do this naturally, the browser will remove these, won't they? It will remove these backslashes and change it to just a URL. And then PHP's code is going to pick up on that. See how like some developers rely on the browser and the code and they don't actually write it securely. So do you know what I mean that that's our payload, isn't it, right there? Un unencoded. So if I visit this, watch this. You see in the URL? Oh, okay. Um, oops. <laughs> so you see there how it's still in the URL? Um, from my testing. Yeah. See when it redirects, it removed it. It's gone. And the idea behind double encoding, if you was on my last stream, is browsers will decode things for you as they browse along. So with double encoding, what happens is, so if I just quickly double encode it again. So one encode, two encode. Oh, I've got another string there accidentally. So remember, you're not only taking advantage of developers, but how browsers handle things. So this is... Remember, that's 
So when we when the browser redirected, it automatically replaced these for us, didn't it? And changed it to just a normal URL. So if I type this here, oops. Browser changed it to this, didn't it? And then the filter validate URL was like, nope, not having that. However, this on the redirect, it gets decoded once. So it goes to this. And PHP doesn't see this as actual code. And then the browser knows how to decode those characters because they're not double encoded. That's the whole thing. The, the, the redirect is what does this. The redirect turns it from double encoded into single encoded. And then the browser knows what to do with it. And it redirects. And you've bypassed it. Um, so the use of two more slashes is you can either have uh, it depends on how they're parsing things um regex so like they might just be looking for that so you might add, add a few more um it all depends on frameworks and things that they're using really um no no one else is helping me triage reports it's just me <laughs> um so yeah you guys and get that um like i say i none of these bugs are made up seek Ooh, pardon me, sorry. None of these bugs are secret, made up. Um, they're all on bug bounty notes for how to learn, how I found these. Uh, you know what I mean? On mentoring, I talk about in open URL redirects for double encoding. And these things need to be on your list when checking and testing things because you can stumble upon, or you stumble past bugs that are there in front of you because, you, you know what I mean? Spend a little time, understand how it works, at least to bugs, at least to bugs <laughs> so yeah i'll carry on so everyone hopefully got that uh, if you don't feel free to reach out to me i'm just gonna take a quick breather to check if there's any more reports because i do understand some people are probably still hacking i've got a few more reports um okay let's have a look what we got here So yes, uh, pooing a lot. So, yeah, we'll do the cross origin bug next. Okay, carrying on. Let's just go through some more reports. No one's found anything else new yet. Okay, let's see what's next on my list. So there was two new XSS. So if I go, so did everyone check robots.txt file? I always, always check it. It should be always be on your list. You'll see that we've got obviously the normals, but we've got a book and my orders. So if you visit my orders or visit book.php, so interesting visit I established, make an order below and we'll review. So a lot of you thought that you had blind XSS. I wouldn't set a blind XSS challenge that didn't have blind XSS execute. I would let you know and I'd tell you, trust me. Um, I understand some of you, English isn't your first language and I might, you know, I understand all of it all, but yeah. So if we simply put yo, 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 inquire. Success, your request was received. You can view your inquiries by clicking here. There's nothing to click, is there? And a few of you got a bit confused, but this, I've been hacking before and some sites just don't work how they're meant to work. Now that, I used to get frustrated, like, well, what the hell? This isn't working, what's going on? But then that's where I guess with time and experience, I just learned more to understand what they intended to actually happen and what's gone wrong. And yeah, that's why I put into robots file, my orders. So if you visit my orders, Uh, you can see your order is in there. Um, so as a hacker, what do you think? Well, you guys thought about putting XSS in there, which you were correct. However, self XSS. So if we load up burp and check the request for what's actually happening here. Okay, it's a JSON request. So if I simply just go, oh, I can't generate on here. That's annoying. I'll need to load up burp professional. Unless there's any online. Security love apparently has one. 
but I don't think his is. Yeah, I'll be all right. I didn't know that did that. Um, yeah, I guess this is, might work. So with this bug, right, JS Fiddle, we can see it's a JSON request. Now, my first thought would be, are they actually validating against the XSS? Uh, I'm actually just going to load Burp Professional because that didn't load that up right. Let me just load this up real quick. Let's get rid of all that. Get rid of all that. It's two minutes. Sorry, guys. About this. Burp is slow at loading, I guess. Well, with my laptop. <laughs> um. So, yeah. Okay, well, cool. We're on. Turn off that. It's already done. Cool. All right. I'm going to, need to turn this one off now so it doesn't interact with that one instead. Let's just make sure it's working. Nope. Uh, it's because I've not got it turned on. Okay. There we go. Cool. We're on. So. I update yo 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 inquire now. We I mean, know it's gone through. So on Burp professional engagement tools generate request site request forgery proof of concept, and it gives us this. Now, typically, um, Burp suite will generate based on what it detects based on the content type. Um, so in this case, we're just going to copy the HTML and send it. Now, one thing I will tell you in Burp, what I find is I always, I mean, when I'm done hacking with these URLs that are in front of me, I'll always clear this because I find if Burp finds the same URL, it won't log it at all. Do you know what I mean? It only logs the first request it made. So you can actually miss a lot of requests that are being made. Because even if some of the post data is the same, I find Burp doesn't log it. If the, if the URL is the same, it treats it as the same URL. I don't know why. So that's just one little thing for me. So yeah, submit request. Oops not valid JSON post data. So we know that they're checking for the actual post data here. So if I go and bug back training request, this right here is not valid JSON, is it? Oops, what's going on? There we go. This right here is not valid JSON because it's got a trailing equal sign, if you can see this. Um, so if you was to remove that, it's going to allow it through, isn't it? So how can we get that there? Well. You just simply smuggle it in the request like this. So if we go back to, so it's, do you know what I mean? The way a form request, we're naming this input file our JSON payload, aren't we? That's why we get given the trailing question mark because this right here is the actual parameters name. So you know what I mean, if you had a value, if you put a value in there, then it would be reflected here. So with that in mind, if you simply just move some stuff over like this, so if you just remove the end quote and end curly bracket and add that there and press run and you press submit request, it goes through. Because do you want to see how it sees it? You can see here the question uh, equal sign has been pushed here because this now is the parameter name. And the value of this parameter is a quote mark and n in the curly bracket, and our request goes through. So with that in mind, you can now set XSS in anyone's account, can't you, via cross-site request forgery? Now, how did the developer mess up here? Because they weren't validating the content type. You can see here, content type is just text plain. So many developers do that. They only check if the payload is valid JSON. As long as it's valid JSON, they typically accept it. 
So if you're getting errors with testing cross site quest forgery, it's all about where that equal sign is usually. Um, play around with that because I mean they might be doing extra validation for certain values contained in certain characters. So you sometimes have to get a bit creative for that. But yeah, that was the idea behind that bug. Um, everyone understand and yeah, following me. <laughs> Anyone really, really, really confused? Uh, the challenge is still running, yeah. Um, so I got a message from someone closing the code. Uh, what code are you trying to close? Yeah, so Neolex. Uh, because browsers change backslash to double slash. So, yeah, that's why. Uh, yeah, there's lots of examples of these around. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Okay, well, carry on, guys. Carry on. Let's just find some messages. Right, what's next on the bug list? <laughs> So we're back onto book.php. So as you can see here now, again, this is thinking like a developer and how developers think. There's a cancel and there's inquire now. Now, if you press cancel, it just sends you back to your profile, doesn't it? Now, for those of you who followed me for a while, I made input scanner um, because even if an input file does not have a name, grab the ID because they might interact with it. So you got ahref id equals uh, cancel URL. So if I simply try cancel URL and I put JavaScript alert, what do you think is going to happen? It's reflected it. Built into the input scanner, don't just go for the names, go for the IDs. Um, yeah, you find even more random parameters, especially when you're brute forcing and scraping and things like that. So yeah, if I try this on here. Not many of you found this one. This was about just looking in the source and understanding. Do you know what I mean? Like, I've tried to not make this hard for people because there's there's not a lot to do on this website here, on this right, current page one right now, is there? There's just input boxes. Um, so to you as a hacker, you shouldn't be overthinking it and you should be thinking, well, okay, well, what does that cancel button do? What does that inquire button do? What's on these? What, what goes on? And yeah, you'd have seen ID, cancel URL. And the hacker inside, you should have been like, I'm going to try that. <laughs> so, yeah, that was that bug. Now, this no one got this bug, um, I believe. I, I might be wrong, thinking from the top of my head. Um, isn't the bug in here not protecting against cross-site request forgery by using the token? So, yeah, that is a bug, but they were just validating whether it's JSON. They were thought to themselves, well, no one can actually send a JSON request post. Do you know what I mean? They didn't check for the content type. If they were checking for the content type, regardless of there being a cross-site request forgery token, how could you have forced that request to go through, really? Um, yeah. <laughs> So again, to carry on. So the way I think, the way developers think is they always, so you know how people always talk about changing true to false. Um, again, you always do it at the parameters as well. So if you see cancel, always think about what the opposite of cancel is, like return, go to, continue, things like that. So in this case, if you had found the return URL, then you'd have been able to see that it reflected back this and you'd have got some more XSS here. This was a bit of a hidden one, really, for people. The developers always think in pairs, really. If there's a cancel button, there's going to be a continue button. If there's a continue button, even if you don't see the cancel button, they might have some functionality in code that only executes if this parameter is found. So just try. Just try certain things because I have found so many bugs um, from that. So, yeah. Carrying on, hopefully you guys are following me. I'm on the wrong page. There we go. Okay, so no one actually found the XSS on your profile. So if you visited your profile, that's not my profile. That's my profile. 
If I view the page source, um, well, anyone notice anything new? Potentially custom view, profile view at the bottom here. Um, that didn't have anything in it. It should have done. Why is that not on there? Okay, maybe that's why no one found it. Is that have I linked that wrong? Uh, okay, I'm not. I'm going to ignore that one then. I'm going to keep that bug on there because that was a fun bug. I'll keep that for next time. To apologise, not quite sure what's happened there. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so yeah, we've already done the cross site request forgery with JSON. Okay, and the last one was on the settings page. So if you visited this so this is my tip to people. Anytime you are testing on a site, you cannot go wrong by simply trying for an origin header. You can add it in your match and replace, and you can force Burp to always add it. Obviously, some sites might not work properly if you're doing that. Um, but in this case, so if we go into save, um, if we visit this, uh, so if we simply just visit settings.php, we can see there's no headers at all. Now, any time there is an endpoint that has user information or a because think about how, again, think about how a developer might think. They have got, depending on how their site's built, some developers will all will have certain endpoints that contain information about the user's account, their activity, notifications, and the website around it interacts with that. So this endpoint allows other parts of the website to make a request to it to retrieve the information and do something with it. So... With that in mind, if we simply had to put origin Google, nothing happens. But if you try their actual site, bugbangtraining.com, then we can see it's reflected back. Now, my first thought is, well, they didn't allow for Google and any other site, and they didn't allow for bugbangtraining.com. Uh, what are they filtering before? So I'll put just WW, but no, no dot. Okay, interesting. So we know this developer is simply checking. If the origin header is found, then if bugbountytrain.com is found, then allow it. But they're not, they've not checking correctly. Do you know what I mean? They're not, they're not checking the actual host value. Um, and yeah, there was the bug. So if you was to buy the, I mean, you can put anything you want. I love bugbountytrain.com and it allows it and from that website you could have simply requested the details and it would have shown you the user's display name and if there was any inf sensitive information on there really um so yeah they were the bugs of bypassing the filters really um i feel like some of you didn't get it as much as you got it last time maybe i was maybe these were these a bit too hard for you guys um is it because like if you guys can give me some feedback as to how you are struggling or if you are struggling because i create these sites around how a bug bounty site is think about if you get an invite on hacker one or bug crowd they're not gonna really sit you through how everything is working it's black box testing isn't it you run your own scanners you're looking at how things are going um and these sessions are designed to teach you how i hack i get an invite and this is what i do i learn I learn as much as possible as this company, how, how they're thinking, what's going on, what they're filtering. And yeah, and like I say, I've, I've talked for hours about it, but check my other sessions for all the tips of how I do that and stay on top of everything, really. <laughs> so yeah, um, anyone really, really struggle? Uh, you are more than welcome to carry on hunting for bugs and trying them themselves uh, 100%. I'm not ending the stream just now. Um, I do appreciate all donations that people have made to me. Uh, I'll be in contact at some point. Uh, I'm just going to check the messages. Um, Okay, so I've got a message from someone about why his proof of concept doesn't work. Let me check for you, my good friend. Because somebody reported something similar to that. Um, it might be because you're setting... Uh, let me, I just executed it. Let me just check if it added it on there. 
Um, yeah, I believe it's because you're setting your request header. Um, Okay, I've got some more questions. Um, so I didn't miss the bug on my orders with XSS. Um, this cross site cross forgery login, yeah, but that wasn't the intended bug. Uh, am I watching on two PCs? Yeah, I have a ton of screens. Sorry, I'm, <laughs> I shouldn't just be sat here leaving this, not doing anything. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to share myself now. Uh, if anyone has any questions, as to if they've been stuck, I do apologize for when I've been silent and what have you. I've been triaging issues, replying to messages. Uh, yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> Maybe I can open this curtain a bit. Whoa, that's bright. Okay, we'll shut that. Um, I'm still going through messages. I will keep going through messages. Um, and anyone got any questions? Right, let's have a look at questions here. The one with the cancel button, ID and XSS, what really happened behind there? Um, what do you mean what happened behind there? So they were simply, so I need to shut these curtains. They were a bit annoying. So that is why you know I mean? if I built, I built my input scanner to look for not only ID names, but ID input IDs because developers were using them sometimes. Um, so yeah, um, might help this person a lot. I've got some more questions. Uh, the cancel button also redirect, not only the inquire button redirected. So if you added return URL, um, can you please explain how changing the origin can be exploited and how it is vulnerable? Yeah, so sure. Um, if I get a proof of concept up real quick on my computer. Um, sorry, just reading something. So two minutes, sorry. Um, I will get to everyone's request as well, uh, messages. So if I share my screen again now, where is it? Okay, let's just make sure everyone can see my screen. So this is just, uh, okay, people can't see my screen yet. There we go. So this is, if let's say, for argument's sake, imagine you was on, so bug, on the bug bounty training website um, on settings, it allowed for any bug bounty, any, anything above before bug bounty training. So imagine you're on this website, I love bug bounty training .com, and you know from this request here, uh, if I just grab it up again, you can see here that it's going to allow it, right? So all you simply do is you would host this JavaScript here, add the URL here. So it'd be bugbindtraining.com forward slash FFH forward slash uh, settings.php. Um, and just a request with credentials equals true. And yeah. You simply send if you was to if you was on bug bike train you'd send that send you'd run this and this code would send a request to this website and log the response and you're able to retrieve information now to always with recurrent with with credentials i'll get there <laughs> with credentials equals true because that sends the cookies along with it and yeah um Let me just, uh, I need to also go through the reports to award who give me the best proof of concept, don't I? Um, 
let's try to check some questions on YouTube. Just a question on cross site cross forgery. Sometimes changing get to post or vice versa works for cross site cross forgery bypass. Um, because that's, I mean, when developers are checking for code, sometimes they only handle post values. I mean, when you're coding in PHP, you've got post, you've got get. So imagine if they're coding something and they only create some sort of code around the post value rather than the get. Um, it all depends on how developers code in that one. Are put and delete method vulnerable to cross site cross forge in any way? Um, no, I don't believe so. I, I mean, you can't force a user to send that request in their browser. I don't think um, you might be able to have a request like this, but I don't. I don't know. If, I'm honest, I've never submitted a bug like that, to be fair. Uh, explain those high impact bugs. Uh, which high impact bugs? Sorry. Um, do you think doing CTFs are a good way to learn how to do bug bounties? Um, yeah and no. I mean, CTFs are really good for getting you in the mindset of a hacker, aren't they? And learning how to hack and poke at things and bypass things um ctfs aren't very similar to bug bounties i mean do you know i mean they're not a developer is not going to go hide some flag in an image for you to find that leads on to some crazy p2 leak or something um so yeah no obviously take the experience you get with ctfs and use it that's kind of why i went down with my fast food hackings because this is a website that actually looks like a real website and it's meant to work like a real website and because I mean, you get invited to a bug bounty program, and you're just given the scope and information about it, and, and where do you begin? And yeah, the whole idea of these sessions has been to basically teach you how I hack my methodology and that. Um. So yeah, uh, has everyone followed? Any any questions? Anyone um, confused? Anyone really stuck? <laughs> I do appreciate everyone that has tuned into this. Um, and yeah, I hope you've enjoyed yourself, really. Anyone got any questions? Um, feel, stream feels like it hasn't been as long as it should have been. Um, I did get the vibe that fewer people were struggling with things. So maybe, I don't know. How can I help you guys understand hacking? Maybe I just didn't give you guys long enough. <laughs> but that is why I'm working on like a live event in person with me so you can hack with me in person and learn how to hack. Um, so I'll be announcing some things about that shortly. Um, but yeah, if no one's got anyone got any other questions or anyone need any help, even if it's not related to these challenges, um, the Fast Food Hacking's website will stay up for the next couple of days for you guys to practice and hack on feel free to keep sending reports if your report is pending i will go through it very shortly and give you feedback accept it and what have you um and yeah like i say donations and support is appreciated for those of you who don't know just join the stream or whatever <laughs> um you can always find my information on any of my challenge pages or mentoring pages uh, it's gone live mentoring view session and you can just press thank mentor and yeah there's my paypal and ethereum and bitcoin uh, so I mean, it's not 100 percent needed it's appreciated um so i'm gonna go through some more questions do you have some advice to be more creative um that just comes with being wrong if i'm honest neolex um the more I've been wrong with filters, filter bypasses being in the way and just things happening, the more it's made me, forced me to get creative, really, if I'm honest. Put in your, that's why people, if you're testing a hardened um, site, don't necessarily sit there and think, right, I'm going to go try to find loads of excess on this because if it's a hardened site, think about what protection they've already got. Um, so, yeah, you got to force yourself, I guess. Um, watch what other people are doing as well and understand like why they tried that. That's why it's reading disclosed reports and seeing what's out there is really good. Do you know what I mean? Getting an idea. 
Uh, when I get my first bow, then I thank you. <laughs> Last bug account takeover. Ah, oh, I need to do who's got the best report, guys. Wow, I nearly forgot about that. That's not good. All right, I've got some pending reports. I'm going to go through these, and whoever's giving me the best report, I am going to give you guys some swag. Let's have a look here. Uh, explain the idor. You want me guys to go through that challenge? I mean, the solution, I can do some live hacking on that if you really want me to. Um, I'm just checking reports now as to who I've accepted and I want to reward some swag to. So, yeah. Is there, who's got this bug? We've got 11 accepted submissions. What's the hint? The first hint is what new parameters are there? Is that leaked anywhere? If you go on new settings. Uh, if we press save on this one. I mean, I shouldn't be doing this. I'm not going to give the answer to this challenge because it hasn't been done yet. But if you press save. Uh, Oops, I'm on the wrong page. I think you deserve a beer. <laughs> Cheers, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> um, uh, so I'm going to be hosting... Um, oh, I believe I broke the new settings, didn't I? Okay, well, you can see here, yeah, it's got user ID. Uh, that's new. So you basically want to be looking as to what is in there, uh, where where can you find things like user IDs being leaked on a small website? Again, think about, again, this is about thinking about how to think like a developer. Bug bounty training, fast food hacking site is relatively small, isn't it? There's not a lot on there. Everything is relatively leaked in the robots file. So where could you find, where do you guys think you can find the user ID that's gonna be leaked? Um, and yeah, you'll find the bug. I'm just going to quickly fix something on it, though. I think I definitely need a beer, man. It's been a long day. <laughs> um, okay, let's see what I've actually done wrong here. Okay, I fixed it. My bad. Um... See, if I go back onto this now, it should be fixed. So if I press save, yeah, it saved it this time. Oh, no, I got into, I'll fix that very quickly. Um, but yeah, so for no one's got, uh, I've got another question. Can you please explain the DOM XSS? Um, I'll fix that very quickly, in fact, as well. <laughs> it should be on there. I'll add it now. Um, where is it gone? Because basically there is a piece of JavaScript that allows you to get XSS. I really haven't been planned today, have I, guys? It feels like. I do apologize. I feel like I've been slacking a lot today. Um, yeah, so if I very quickly create this file, <laughs> so assets, JavaScript, custom view with two seconds, guys, to apologize. So if I save that, okay, so this is what I intended to have on the website. Let me go on your profile. And you visit custom view. Um, hey, why is it not on there? It should be on there. <laughs> I literally just added it. There we go. Um, so, yeah, if you check this out. Well, is anyone going to get it? Someone, someone go find that bug now on custom view. It's relatively easy while I'm going to choose the best proof of concept. 
Um, so the winners of this round as well are Cilio X. You were the first person to find first bug to be reported. Sorry, uh, I pronounced your name correct. So Cilio X, you were the first bug. Um, Callie, I believe, was the first person to find the open URL for account takeover. I believe. I'm just verifying. Uh, yeah, you are correct. Yeah, I do apologize. That JavaScript file not being there. That was really my bad. Should have been there. Really, really my bad. I apologize. Uh, no, I haven't tried the new WebSocks repeater yet. I've been really busy building all these things for you guys. I'm going to get back to hacking at some point soon. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Neolex, feel free to try this XSS here now on custom view and report it to me. I'll handle them right now. Um, so Callie, yeah, you got the first account takeover bug. Um, best, best proof of concept. Hmm. There's quite a few. Quite a few. Um. Where would you recommend starting if you wanted to start learning ethical hacking? Um, so, bug my notes, obviously. <laughs> Hacker 101, the Bug Crowd University, um, Pentester Lab, Burp Suites just released a new WebSec Academy. That's really cool as well. Um, So I'm going to give swag to Sudi for the best written up proof of concept. So if CL CO CLX, how you pronounce your name, and Callie and Sudi, if you guys can all DM me on Twitter, let me know. Do you know I mean, let me know. I believe I've got Callie and that your username ready, but just let me know your username so I know who you are. Um, you guys, I'm going to reward you with some swag. Um, some of you have already got some swag on the way. So when that turns up, please send me a photo and let me know what it looks like. I'm really interested. Uh, I'll design it all myself, um, ship it out myself, handle it all myself. <laughs> I'm a, yeah, I'm juggling a lot of things at the moment. I'm hoping to really get some help from people with things. Um, if anyone is interested in triaging next session, if you are interested, because some, I get it, some people learn better from seeing other people hack and seeing what they're finding that. So if any, I'd like to open basically the opportunity next time for people to be a triager so you can see what everyone is finding and help them. Obviously, I get you might not be able to triage them if you were learning, but yeah, I'll work on that. Can we see what the best written proof of concept was like? Yes. Um, with So I'm going to be releasing that feature to so people can disclose them. So Sudi will be able to disclose that. I'll be in, in, coming out in the next couple of days. Um, but just to sum up, he basically he found XSS and he escalated that XSS to stored XSS. Um, and yeah. Uh, Oh yeah, there was there was quite a lot of cool proof of concepts. Um, yeah, it's, I don't know. I like that one. I liked his thinking and how it went. I wish I could reward everyone swag. That's what I'm gonna work on. Hopefully, <laughs> uh, who got the cause bug first? Um, I will check. That was fell chase. Yeah, fell chase was the first one to get that. Um, yeah, congratulations, Phil Chase. I speak to you quite a lot. So, yeah, um, anyone got any other questions? Because if not, I will wrap this up because then that gives people a bit of time for Ben stream starting in half an hour. It gives people a bit of time to have a break and a breather. I didn't want to overrun. I'm trying to be a bit mindful of him, I guess. Um, I'm going to see if anyone's got this report before, obviously, I end this. I'll be, I'll be live for another 10 minutes. So if you've got any questions, feel free. I'll check my Twitter very quickly and I will be going through all reports which are on here. Um, yeah, congratulations, Silox. You're straight on that. And you, Neolex. Yeah, easy. Um, 
like I say, uh, I'm not plugging myself as such, but I do recommend sticking around in my streams because they all go along with each other as such. I'm trying to help you guys really get into the mindset of a hacker. Um, can I do a session on OWARF related issues? Yeah. There is some really fun challenges coming out to do with token hijacks, OWARF, like a proper OWARF setup system for you guys to play around with and break. I've uh, been working on that. Um, yeah, last I got loads of cool content coming out. Getting there. <laughs> so, a demo of that, Dom XSS, no problem at all. Let's do it. So, if you visit your profile, we can see that. What, well, what's it looking for? It's saying variable profile view equals decode uri component location dot hash substring and then it's just setting the inner html so when you're scanning set inner html to something you search for and grep for and look for because if javascript is setting something that's just inner html you might be able to get some xss there depending on how things are going so all this code is doing is, oops, I didn't mean to do that. All this code is simply doing is looking for if there's any hashtag values, uh, hash fragments, and it's just going to reflect it. So if you simply visited LOL SVG onload alert, then there you go, it executes just simply after this. Because all parameters, are, remember, not all parameters are just after question marks. Uh, that was to see who listened from the last challenge. I understand I accidentally messed up on the JavaScript file, but that was to get people to think with not just trying parameters with um, question marks and that and trying them with hash fragments and seeing what happens, really. So, yeah. Is SAML similar to OAuth? Um, it's not really. So, SAML, uh, well, let's read up on it. So, let's see, SAML login example. So, we'll compare and we'll answer your question right here, right now. See what the developer, see what people think when it loads. <laughs> um, I literally just want an example. Okay, so here's how it works. So the user tries to log in. It responds by generating a request. The browser redirects to the single sign-in URL, which looks similar to an OAuth URL. Uh, typically, there's a lot more values and requests and things happening in a SAML request, it's like I mean, XML and things like that. Um, so yeah, once the request is sent, then it handles it. Typically with an OAuth is there is just going to be something like, I mean, login, whatever, client ID equals ID here, and then it's going to have the redirect URL, whatever. Um, and it typically just sends a request and handles and then redirects with a token. Um, sort of, but not, I guess. <laughs> Um, so yeah, anyone got any more questions? Has everyone, if, has everyone enjoyed this session? Have you guys have fun? Um, hopefully you have. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully I haven't rambled too much. Hopefully I didn't end it too soon as well for people that were trying to find bugs. Um, I said I wanted to kind of get it done before Ben stream started um, and give you guys a bit of a break if you wanted to attend that. Um, but yeah, um, should I do another one? You guys interested in me doing another one? Um, who submitted the most successful reports? Uh, I will go through that at some point and check. I still got some pending ones. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with how it went. I did notice people struggling a little bit with some things, but I think you're getting the gist of it. <laughs> I'm going to be leaving things up for people to check out and use, you know what I mean? But yeah, um, if you guys happy, I'm going to call this a day. Uh, I really appreciate everyone who tuned in. Um, yeah, like I say, I'll see you out there. I'll see you on the next session. Um, and keep your eyes peeled for when I make an announcement for my first ever like in-person hacking event. Um, I won't be hacking a live target like a company. It, so, I mean, it's going to be similar to fast food hackings, but a lot more bigger, a lot more bugs, a lot more going on. Um, but yeah, I feel like maybe I should do an easier session for people because I, I thought more people would find bugs on here. But yeah, 
so yeah thank you everyone for tuning in um i hope you enjoyed ben's session if you tuned into that hopefully i haven't tired you out too much um and i hope you guys all have a great evening afternoon um whatever time is where the world take care guys see you later